Today, the Unemployment Office and the Gaming Control Board spoke at the Nevada Economic Forum. A News Now reporter Kate Houston shows us how increasing demand at casinos is impacting unemployment numbers. The Excalibur Hotel and Casino will reopen on Thursday, and these reopenings are starting to help bring down the state's unemployment numbers as thousands of people are getting back to work. It is important to note, though, some variables that could impact just how many people get back on the job. Growing demand is leading to more properties opening into the summer. While this will allow many to get back to work, conventions, which are a large source of revenue and employment, are on hold. Caesar's dock worker Michael Caston relies on conventions. He's been out of work for nearly three months. A big part of us are waiting for, you know, that, that tourism to pick up, for, for our little city to pick back up. Many strip workers not joining their colleagues during the initial reopening are relying on unemployment, which has not been an easy process. After eight weeks without unemployment assistance, Michael got paid for two weeks. He's now back on hold as the office looks into his back pay. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going on. Um, and the people I've been dealing with um, haven't been so polite. The most recent data from April has Nevada's unemployment rate at 28.2 percent. The unemployment office says they'll have a clearer picture of how the reopening has impacted unemployment numbers once they get the data for June. Kate Houston, 8 News Now. Well, since the reopening, the Nevada Gaming Control Board says mostly locals and tourists who drive here from surrounding states are the predominant customers. Now, the board says the strip will need airlines to increase their flights as well as get our convention and corporate customers to return. Denise.